Hey folks, it's me again. I haven't done an update in a little while on the car, so I figured I'd give a quick little update. Uh, what's going on, what I've been doing. Um, you know, I've had some time to work on the car. Um, ordered a bunch of parts, unfortunately, with everything going on, uh, parts are a little slow getting in. But um, anyways, where I'm at right now, I uh, ordered some parts. I ordered this hard chrome fuel line kit for the Edelbrock carb uh, so I didn't have to have the fuel line just coming directly in here um, I figured this is a little bit better plus I have a pressure gauge fuel pressure gauge on here uh, these Edelbrock carbs usually like to run between 5 to 6 PSI so anyhow I went with that unfortunately though it's 3 8 and the fuel line on this car, it was all 5 16 for some weird reason. Um, anyhow, I have to pull the gas tank on this car anyways uh, to put the new fuel sending unit I bought, which is in this box here, because uh, my gas gauge doesn't work. So I figure I'm just going to go ahead and replace the whole fuel line. I ordered um, some 3 8 hose, rubber fuel line, um, a 3 8 filter, and a new uh, fuel pump. I went with a Mr. Gasket, which is owned by Holly now. Um, I went with one of their, I think it's a 60 or an 80 gallon per minute pump. Uh, it was only like $68 shipped. So I'm waiting on that, I'm waiting on the uh, hose. Um, once all that comes in, I'm going to lift the rear of the car up, take down the fuel tank, put the new sending unit in it, run a whole new 3 8 fuel system through the car. So it'll all be 3 8 I didn't want to piece together a 5 16 fuel on the 3 8 It's just, yeah, I didn't want to mess around with fuel. I want a good solid system in here. So that's the route I'm going with the fuel system. Um, also... I bought a kit to replace this for my uh, alternator. Unfortunately, the part that came in, these bolts were way too long um, for this. So I ended up reusing this top part, but I did put this in so I can tighten it down. Um, and then I realized, I guess I hadn't paid any attention, but this alternator set up to run two um, V-belts. Um, and I have a two V-belt system here on my crank, you know, off the, the main crank pulley. But I only have a single V-belt for the uh, water pump. So I went ahead and I ordered, waiting for that to come in, a uh, dual V-belt uh, pulley. So I'm going to do that and uh, I'll have two run into my alternator, which should be a lot better. should keep it from squealing. And it should just run a lot better with that. Um, I did order a bracket to replace this and this, but it didn't fit the Edelbrock carb. It's more set up for a Holly. So I think eventually I want to change out the Edelbrock carb and I want to put a Street Demon uh, carb in it. So I'm just going to leave it as is for now until I get that Street Demon carb, which who knows, probably be a year or so. Um, but I do plan on getting that. Um, I also ordered a battery. Um, this is more of just a maintainer. Just puts in a trickle charge in the battery. Um, I did have to replace the battery. The other battery ended up with a dead cell. Uh, but I bought it at Walmart, so I just took it to Walmart and swapped it out. Let's see what else. I think, um, let's see, I ordered a new steering wheel. I went kind of old school, kind of 80s, 70s. I love those old Grant. Uh, this is a 13 and a half inch steering wheel, which is the same size as the original, but this rubber, I, I took off the cover. This rubber is really not holding up so good. And with the manual steering, this is way harder and much more solid um, so with that I also ordered 
had to get the Grant um, steering wheel kit so I could put the steering wheel on the Mustang. Uh, here's that fuel line I bought, 81.26. Um, it didn't come with the fuel pressure gauge. I had to order that separately. And then I ordered this, kind of a, you know, kind of old school look, which I think will fit with this car. It was only, I think it was like a $40 tack. Um, it's got the little cup, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that right in here. So it'll be right in front of the old one, because the old one does not work. So we're gonna end up going with that. And then lastly, my new, uh, Cooper Cobra GTs came in. These are uh, 275s. And on here right now, these are the new ones are 275 60 series wheels. And obviously they're 15s. What's on here right now, these are um, 295 50 series. And if you can see, these 50 series leave a huge gap. You know, and I, I don't really like that. I mean, it's nice having a wide tire, but I don't like that gap. So, you can see when you install these, it's a much taller tire, and that's going to fill that gap nicely. Um, and it's just slightly um, not as wide, but I like these. Plus, Cooper. They're the last tire I know of that's made in North America. Everything else is made in China. So I wanted to go with something made in North America. So that's it, guys. That's where we're at right now. Uh, basically, I went as far as I can go for now until I get some more parts. I'll probably put the steering wheel on. But uh, that's it. Later.